Nikki Haley. Have you ever heard of her? I didn't know she was still campaigning. She said, she's still campaigning? Oh, she was just endorsed by Liz Cheney. Can you believe it? If Liz Cheney ever endorsed me, I'd say, no, I don't want it. I don't want that. In and there's a comparison graphic that they're going to put up on the screen, which is sort of interesting. But we're leading. We're beating everybody. We're beating her by a lot, but we're beating Biden. She can't beat Biden. The polls are showing the most recent polls because she doesn't have Republican support. You know what she doesn't have? She doesn't have MAGA. She doesn't have MAGA. There's no MAGA. The radical left Democrats want Nikki Haley because they know she's the easiest person to beat. And she will. She doesn't have Republican support. Nikki Haley supports a 23 percent national sales tax, and she wants to gut Medicare and Social Security, raising the retirement age of Social Security to, think of this, about 77, about 10 years, 12 years. Anybody in their 60s or 70s, would you like to say, I'm just about there, darling? You're 62 years old. I'm just about there, darling, but I see Nikki Haley wants to make it 10 years longer, despite being completely unelectable. And I believe she's unelectable. Nikki is a continuing, she's got a continuing plan in a shameless, radical left craziness because she's basically a Democrat. She's almost a radical left Democrat, which is hard to win elections like that. But it's like they use it as a, they use certain things as like a Trojan horse in the Republican primaries. Haley made a corrupt deal to sell out to the radical left, taking the Democrat money from donors and recruited all the votes. In the primaries that you just saw, she got killed in both of them. You had Iowa, you had New Hampshire. She got absolutely beaten badly. And she tried to cancel out Republicans, and she sort of did. She only got 25 percent of the Republican vote in Iowa, where she came in a distant third. A distant third. Remember, we have Ron DeSantis. Now, I've, you know, I've terminated that other man, right? They asked me. They said, they said, what about the sanctimonious? I said, no, I put that into retirement, that name. Is. So now I call him Ron DeSantis. But Ron DeSantis came in second. He didn't come. She came in third, a distant third. And he got out, and then she went to New Hampshire, and she got slaughtered in New Hampshire, even though she had a lot of Democrats voting for her. Because in New Hampshire, they allowed Democrats and independents to vote. I said, this could be a little tough. And we still won by a lot, by a landslide, I guess. Sort of a landslide. And she didn't come to Nevada because they looked at a poll, and I was at 97 percent. She said, I think we're not going to win Nevada. And we have a caucus, and it's not really a traditional thing. It's a caucus. Caucuses can be very good. Caucuses, like Iowa, is a caucus. It's very interesting. It's actually a lot more work, but it's a very interesting way to go. Trump Republican voters are going to defeat Nikki Haley's liberal Democrat donors every single time. I mean, her biggest donor is a radical left donor who will drop her right after this. But the donor is a big radical lefty, a slob. He's a slob. You take a look at him. He's a radical left donor who gave her a lot of money because they want to fight her. They want to be against her because they didn't do too well in 2016. And they got lucky as hell with all the theft in 2020. They got lucky as hell. They don't want to go through that again. So now they've weaponized. They hope that's going to be their new form of cheating, weaponizing. They want to weaponize the FBI, the DOJ. That's going to be their form of cheating. The radical left Democrats rigged the presidential election in 2020, and we're not going to allow them to rig the presidential election of 2024. And every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a great badge of honor because I'm being indicted for you. I am being indicted for you.